Hello, peoples, it's Keyblade Link, and welcome to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, in the last episode, we had Mr. Toontown with us, and we almost went to the Forest Temple, but we didn't. And we instead came here to the Ice Cavern. And yes, because I like the Ice Cavern and stuff, because it is just a fun mini dungeon. It's like the only mini dungeon in this game, and I like it, because it's very fun. And there's a piece of heart in here, and you know, there's a... There's three skull toys, so yes. And we're going to be doing this in this episode. And there's supposed to be a skull to in here, I could have sworn. I do not know where it is, however. Let's see. Is it even in here? I don't even think there is a skull to us. Zelda Dungeon must have lied to me. Okay. Well, wow. that is just unforgivable now, isn't it? Um, yeah, I don't think that's actually where it is. Okay. Um, I cannot, uh, destroy that, um, that icicle, that little ice. I just went out! Okay. Well, that's a good start to this episode now, isn't it? We're gonna have just so much fun. And none at all fails. No, there will be absolutely none of that. Absolutely none. You will see that I am um, a pro at this game. Um, I, uh, I MLG in this game. Yeah, because there's MLG Ocarina of Time. Yeah, most people don't know that, but, you know, I'm one of the, uh, few that know that. No, okay, the skull was in this room. I'm just really stupid. See, there it is. I, I told you. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, there's a spinning ice blade in here. And you have to destroy those things right there. Okay. Um, the, uh, you have to get the silver rupees. Have we seen the silver rupees in this game yet? No. Well, they're a little thing that are in quite a few places in this game that, uh, when you get all of them, there are, I believe, five in every, in every place where there are silver rupees. Um, when you get all of them, something happens. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Should we hookshot, maybe? No, we can't hookshot. There are stairs, though, so that might be of worth. Um... And I, yeah, there's one over here. Um, where's the last one? It's right there. And there we go, see? Um, yeah. They never get hard, the silver rupee puzzles. They're always pretty damn easy. Just because they're never really hidden. So, yeah. Alright. So, what have you guys been doing? I've been watching, uh, some Let's Plays, Johnny Awesome's DK64. You know, um... What else have I been watching? His Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, I've been watching Chugga's newer episodes of Pokemon Coliseum. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and uh, Derek's Pokemon Coliseum. Yeah. I like a... I like that. Let's play Derek. You be you better keep that up. Um, and also Cameron's Jack and Daxter. I'm liking that. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually watching a few Let's Plays now. Uh, so this is my last day of spring break, sadly. Uh, it's been pretty fun. I've gotten, uh, quite a bunch of recording done. So, yeah, I have, like, a bunch of uploads. And I'm gonna record, like, three or four episodes of this right now. And I'm gonna record another episode of this later in the day. Um, so, yeah. Oh my god! So many things that just want to murder me! I cannot stand it. It's ridiculous. All right, I didn't make that jump earlier, so. Uh, there's a blue flame right here, and Navi will be like, this blue fire, it doesn't seem natural. Maybe you can use it for something. Okay, um, maybe. We're just gonna fill our bottles with this blue fire because it's pretty useful, actually. You can destroy the red ice with it, and yeah. So that's pretty cool. And you put the blue fire in a bottle yet again. Let's just uh, empty this one out, just because we don't really need it. Oh crap, am I going to capture the bugs or the blue fire? Yeah, the blue fire. Okay, that's fine. Um, ooh. Alright, should I just throw a bomb over to it? Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Um, <laughs> I didn't really do it right, but... Um, 
let's see. Let's just grab our hook shot, and you can actually hook shot over to these guys. So yeah, and it does damage too. So there's actually a purple rupee over there. So I'm gonna go get that. Um. Oh, not magic beans. Our blue fire. That's what I wanted to take out. Uh, let's just take out our blue fire, and this can actually knock you off of the platform. And you don't want that to happen, because that'll get really annoying. And in this pot... Crap. I fell off. Trying to get... Trying to break open the pot. That's great. Uh... Ah, uh, oh, god damn it. Ugh. Freaking hate this shit. Come on. Yeah, get up there, you fucker. Okay, um... No, 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 no. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, no! Holy crap, these ice keys are just so irritating. I mean, what the hell? I'm gonna die at this rate because I can't freaking defend myself. They keep on setting me on ice. Okay, this is just getting kind of ridiculous. I mean, what the fuck? Okay. Come on. Oh, god. oh my god. Alright, well at least I got a freaking... What is that? Oh yeah, that's a purple rupee. Okay. Well at least I got that. That's something, right? Ah! So many pains that you have caused me have all been transferred over to you. No, why? Oh. Okay. 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 Okay, and the TV just kind of flashed again. So that was kind of annoying. Hopefully that won't happen in a dire situation like that again. Um Okay. Well, there we go. Alright. And open this, maybe just a little bit. And there we go. Okay, no. There we go. You found the dungeon map. Okay, there we go. Found the dungeon map. And, um, yeah, we're already eight minutes into the episode. So, you know, that's great. We should not be eight minutes into the... That'll probably be, like, sped up or something. No. Oh, there we go. All right. Huh. Huh. Oh my god. Okay. I just wanted to get a little bit more blue fire. Just because we'll need more blue fire. Than just that. And, yeah. So there we go. And we have more blue fire now. Okay. All right. Well then. Now we're done with that. Took a while, for God's sakes. Uh, uh, these slicers, these blades, whatever you want to call them. Not slicers, what the fuck? Um, okay. Ugh. Alright. Well, now we can actually continue with this. I just want to kind of get over here really quick. And just set this uh, weird cobweb thing on blue fire. So, yeah. Alright, and another. Uh, blue rupee. Okay. Let's just go over here. And, oh god, I love this room so much. Because look, there is a piece of heart. And that's going to refill all my hearts. There's also an ice keys! There's also an ice keys! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on. Come on. It's a race against time. It's a race against time. Yes! Ha! There we go. Now we are just fantastically freaking revived. Rejuvenated. I feel so rejuvenated. Okay. Let's just fill our empty bottles with this blue fire here. Um, there we go. And we have some more blue fire. Yeah, as you can tell, this is actually a pretty short dungeon. Uh, the compass is over here. So, yeah. Uh, let's just get our hookshot. Just hookshot this guy. Right over here. Yeah, there we go. And there we are.
That feels a lot better. I have to say. I mean, come on. It's just so much better. There we go. Oh, yes. And there's a skull in this room, too. So, you know, there's a bunch of stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Okay, and... Yay, the compass! Hooray, we got it. Um, hmm. Let's see, where's that Skulltula? Let's just take out the hookshot over here. And is it over there? Yes, it is, actually. Can I maybe get it? No. Oh, yeah. I just had to... I just have to have a really weird camera angle. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, alright. Two out of the three Skulltula is knocked out already. So, yeah. Alright, and let's just get over here and just take this blue fire. Um, then maybe get another thing of empty bottle, and then take some more blue fire. There we go. And you have some more blue fire, so now we're all refilled. Alright. Now we can just keep going. And I don't know how that freaking falling icicle didn't damage me or anything. Uh, it's one of the miracles of life, truly. Okay. Um... Yeah, so uh, I haven't really been playing many games recently. I played D I played a little bit of DK64 last night just because I like that game. It's it's fun. It's a fun game. You know? You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Does anyone else like that game? I like that game. It's it's good. It's good. Maybe it's not as good as like other. Uh, maybe it's not as good as Banjo Kazooie or Banjo Tooie, but it's still a good game, and it's better than Mario 64. I can at least say that. I mean, like, every 3D platformer on the N64 is better than Mario 64. In my opinion, at least. I don't know. I just... Mario 64 is fun, but it's... Uh, it, it, it gets old. Like, I don't know. Banjo-Kazooie and Donkey Kong 64 don't get old. Like, Mario 64 gets really old after a while. Like, I just... It, it kind of loses its fun. And that's why I've never, like... 100% in it, and that's why the verses will be like the la the first time I'll 100% I'll in it, but yeah, I don't know. And, uh, I don't know, just a bunch of things about that game just bug me. It's weird, my relationship with that game. Okay, but there we go. We got our final Gold Skulls Law of the Ice Cavern, so that's pretty good. And with this thing, you just have to kind of pull it. Uh, uh, not pull it, push it. Uh, this, this puzzle's weird. I like it though. It's a fun puzzle. It's it's a block puzzle. It's like an ice block puzzle. You know. Nobody likes those kinds of puzzles. But, I don't know, I like this one. Just because it seems kind of different from all the others. And I just fell. God damn it! I'm at the beginning of the dungeon now! Ah, now I have to collect all those freaking silver rupees again. Great. Fan uh, I hate... Okay, yeah. Here's the thing. Like, if you freaking fall off, then you're, then you're fucking screwed. And that's that's an annoying thing about this dungeon, you know? This mini dungeon, per se. Per se. Per se? Yeah, per se. Like, I wrote down per se once. And my friend got, like, all hostile to me, because I was, he was like, it's per se, it's per se, and I was like, no, it's per se, but you can spell it either way, it turns out. Because, you know, Google Docs didn't freaking correct me over it, so. Google Docs doesn't exactly have the best spell check, though, so. Can't really rely on that. Oh, there we go. See, you can get, like, all of them just by freaking jumping. I wonder if I can get this one by jumping. Most interesting. It's the most interesting thought. I don't know. Can I? He dropped three hearts. I am kind towards you, my friend. And I am bitter towards you. Ah. There we go. Oh, and he didn't even drop anything, that bastard. Such a cheapskate. Um. Oh, okay. Well, you know, we can just use this thing. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. We can just kind of do that. And there we go. A dibble bop Okay. 
What was that? That was Bill Cosby, everyone. Oh, crap. Yeah. Kind of annoying. But, you know. All right. Is anyone else kind of glad that Kingdom Hearts is over? I mean, sure, that happened a fucking while ago. But, like, is anyone? Because, like, I mean, I loved that LP. I thought that that's probably, that's probably my best LP yet. But, like, I'm just kind of glad that it's over. Because it, it went on for way too long. Like, seriously. A year and a half. That's kind of pushing it a bit. Not really a year and a half, but, like, somewhere around that. Like, I don't know, when an LP drags on for that long, it, you know, that's kind of overdoing it a bit, in my opinion. Um, we don't really have to go here <laughs> yet, but, you know, more blue fire, so I guess that's something. Um, yeah, but let's just, uh, not a blue fire bottle, that wouldn't make much sense, now would it? Let's just... Yeah, a regular bottle. That's that's what I wanted to do. Um, huh. Can I fix this? Let's see. Crap, I might fall. Okay, come on. Don't fall. Yes. Okay, good. Didn't fall. Uh, yeah, I can't fix this. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Um, and then that happens, so, you know, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, but there's the last one over there. Ah, I just did a really weird side jump. That was kind of uncalled. That was very uncalled for, Link. I do not see why you had to do that. Um, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, there we are. And let's just get over here and put this blue fire on the red ice. And I missed it, I think. Yeah, no, I didn't. Okay, that's good. I didn't miss it. But yeah, as you can probably tell, this area isn't exactly here when you're child Link, just because everything um, in Zora's Domain now is on ice, because freaking Ganondorf made everything very cold. I don't know. I don't know how... I don't know. I don't know the lore of this game, really. Ah, oh, freaking I fucked this up. Or did I? No, yeah, I fucked this up. Um, I'm not supposed to do that. I don't know the lore of this game. Like... I don't know what happened. I don't know if freaking happened with the Zoras. It never really tells you. Oh shit, what the fuck? I guess that's why that you do that. But like... Huh? Hmm. Let's see. What if I do this? Then I do that. Yeah, that's the way that you're supposed to do it. There we go. Alright, I didn't fuck it up. Okay. Well, there we are. And then... Yeah, you're supposed to make kind of a weird jump. Shit. Um... Yay! Fantastic! Hooray, everyone! Dinner's on me. Great. Um, let's see. All right, let me just think this over for a little bit. Okay. What? Oh. Oh, okay. I get it now. Sorry, I don't really remember this ice puzzle all that well. All right, don't get on my back. Okay. All right, let's just do this. Um, wait, is this correct? Is this anatomically correct? No, it's not. Great. Oh shit, this, this is actually pretty damn complicated. Wait, no, it's not. Or can you just do this? It's not that complicated. Okay, well, stupidity, uh, fucking to the third power, I guess. I don't know. To the fifth, to the sixth, to the seventh power. Times four. Okay. Um, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. 
All right. Well, now that that's over, that bullshit, um, I think this is actually the end. Like, we're nearing... Yeah, this part's like the end. So yeah, this is not a very long, uh, mini dungeon at all. It, it, that's why I call it a fucking mini dungeon. But, you know. Um, what do I want to do? I want to drop some blue fire here. That's what I want to do. I think if you drop it in the middle, you can get rid of all of these. So that's kind of what I want to do here. Yep, I was right. There we go. Then this one contains that, and this one contains something. Just that, so it's not really that big of a deal, but... Okay. And then... Oh my god, it's a white wolf -os. That's what it's called, by the way. Uh, you just kind of want to lure it towards you. Then... Come on. Come on. Come on! We're gonna attack! Ooh! Ooh, I attacked it. Ooh, there we go. Oh, did you see that skill? That was just so skilled right there. And what's in here? Well, it's the thing that we came here for, kind of. Because you know how I was saying that this mini dungeon is important to completing one of the temples? No? Okay. Um, you got the iron boots. So heavy you can't run. So heavy you can't float. Huh? That's a hint. It's chic. We meet again, Julian. If you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but she left to head for the water temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of the curse. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. Time passes. People move. Like a river's flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn to noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection. The clear water's surface reflect reflects growth. Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. And here was my favorite uh, ocarina song in the entire game. I don't know why. I just always liked the sound of it. I, I just always liked the sound of this song. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. It's a damn fine song. It's a damn fine song. You have learned the serenade of water. And yeah, so there we go. Julian, I'll see you again. You will? Whoa, that's... Oh, jeez. Yeah, but you're supposed to come here much later in the game, but I decided since there's something that I want to do in the next episode uh, that has to do with, uh, you know, freaking ice, freaking uh, red ice and blue fire... I decided it wouldn't make much sense if I just did, like, two minutes of this place. I would just do the entire thing, uh, right now, so. Yeah. If you start ch choking, too. See, it's like, it it's not really a problem, though, because you have, like, a minute. So, you know, here we go. I almost said choding. That was, that was silly. Um, alright, now we're done. But, do we still have blue fire? Do we still have at least a little bit of blue fire? Yeah, we still have one more. Okay, that's good enough. That's all we need, actually. Um, I'm not going to end up the episode just yet because we need to get something. Because if you remember, the Zora King was frozen um, in red ice. So we need to go put some blue fire on him. And uh, let's see. And I need to put on the iron boots right here. Um, the iron boots let you sink, by the way. They let you just go to the bottom of water. And yeah, and... Rolling underwater is kind of weird. But yes, yeah, so there's a piece of heart down here, which is why I came down here. Uh, as you can see, it's right there. It's not a very hard piece of heart to find. But there we go. You got a piece of heart. So there we are. 
And let's just take off my iron boots and put on my Kokiri boots now. And come on, Link, go! Go, for God's sakes! Why does it take you so long? Why do you have to- why must you float? Why don't you help yourself? Why don't you just, like, flap your arms or something? I don't know. Come on. Link's not exactly the brightest, uh, chicken in the, uh, in the pack or something. I don't know. I can't think of a good analogy. Uh, but, okay. Ah. Okay, there we go. Um... Do you know what? We're gonna end the episode off in actually a few seconds over here. Not in a few seconds, but in like just a little, like in in like a minute or something. We just have to unfreeze the Zora King. Right here. Just unfreeze him. There we go. He's unfrozen, and we just stand on this pillar right here. And oh no, we just kind of talk to him. Speak. Oh. I've come back to life. Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With this, you won't choke underwater. Oh, hooray! The Zora tunic. Let's put that on, shall we? It makes us all blue. And stuff. There we go. Now we're all blue. And stuff. Um, There is supposed to be a Skulltula here. But I have no idea where the hell it went. Oh crap, my screen is flashing again. God damn it. Um, there's supposed to be a Skulltula around here. Oh, it's up there. God damn it. Um, I wonder, can I get that from up there? Let's see. Let's test this, maybe. Um, yeah, there's, there's, uh, red ice and you need blue fire to access the Zora shop, but you don't really need to go to the Zora shop. I mean, come on. Uh, the Zora's shop kind of- the Zora's shop. S the Zora's shop is kind of boring. That's what I meant to say. It's not that fun. It's not that fun. Uh, but, yeah. My god, the screen keeps flashing! For god's sakes. Um, for god's sakes? Why do I keep saying for god's sakes? Um, we have to 53 skull souls. It's actually pretty good. Um. Yeah, okay, there we go. I think we can get it. Yeah, we can! There we go! And that's our 54th Skulltula! Alright guys, in the next episode, we are going to be getting the best sword in the game. Really? Well, that sounds very exciting. Alright guys, I guess I will see you guys then.